Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Red Dead Redemption on Steam Deck. So it's not natively on PC, so we need to emulate it. And we have three options, RPCS3 for PlayStation 3, Xenia for the Xbox 360 version, and Yuzu for the Switch version, which is the one I had the most faith on. So let's start with the 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, and then we'll see which one is best. And I'll show you my best settings, to say it in some way. Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 1 on the Xbox 360 emulator. As you can see, we're nowhere close on getting 30 FPS, which again, what's, what's to be expected? I mean, this emulator is very CPU and GPU heavy, at least on my PC it was like that. So the game looks pretty good. But you might be asking yourself why it's only using half the GPU and CPU. Well, the CPU and GPU share a 15 watt TDP. That means that if the CPU is doing a lot of work, the GPU will lower the clock, let the CPU do its job. And there's some broken textures over here as well. LMAO. So I would say this is not the way to do it. it doesn't work well. But I wanted to show you <laughs> All three ways to emulate Red Dead 1 on all these platforms. I don't know why this one has broken textures on the 360 one. But again, the CPU is being fully utilized when it comes to clock speed. So the GPU cannot do more work. That's basically the reason. So yeah. Anyway. Let's jump into RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. Now RPCS3, and as you can probably see, I'm not inside the game. Well, I tried this on my PC, it launched fine. But then when I tried launching this on the Steam Deck, well, I have an issue. It says stuck in building SPU cache, so it doesn't launch. I looked it up on the internet, there's people with the same issue. So let's be real here. RPCS3 is super CPU heavy. We're not going to get 30s on this one. So Xbox 360 emulation out of the way. PS3 emulation out of the way. Let's do Switch emulation. That one should be better for playing Red Dead Redemption on the Steam Deck. So one sec, let's go to the Switch. All right, now it's time for the Nintendo Switch emulators. We got Ryunix and Yuzu. Let's start with Ryunix and then we'll jump into the next one. Okay, we're into Ryunix in options. I only added the Steam Deck controls here as a Pro Controller. System, keep it all like this. Graphics, I kept it all like this. We can do a lower resolution by going to Custom, but let's keep it on Native. Save, and let's launch the game. All right, guys, now in Unix, don't pay attention to game scope. For some reason, it says 60, but it's actually 27 FPS, I think. That's not doing it any favors, so let's disable Gamescope. It's not doing a good job here. Just ignore the frame rate information. I'll block it out so you cannot see it. The frame rate is right below here. That's the actual frame rate. We're at 28 FPS in handheld mode. If I put it on docked, that is a higher resolution. We drop to 27. So it doesn't seem to be a huge difference, but the Steam Deck CPU, especially the GPU actually, is suffering. So let's put it on handheld to make it easier for the GPU. Vsync disabled because the Steam Deck has system-wide Vsync, so it's on Vsync all the time. So lowest resolution here. And the game is inconsistent, very inconsistent actually. So I probably wouldn't play it on Riot Unix, at least not right now. If there was anything wrong with the options, please let me know in the comments. Because I know many of you guys are Riot Unix enjoyers. Other of you are uh, Yuzu enjoyers. Personally, I've been using more Yuzu. But as you can see, the game itself is not running particularly great. Especially in town. Once you get outside town, it should be a little bit better, but as soon as you move the camera, it's super inconsistent. Oh so yeah. 
Anyway, I think it's time to jump into Yuzu, the other Switch emulator. As you can see here, we're not looking at anything in particular. It's fine, but I look there and bleh, it pukes. The thing is, when looking into just grass and all that, it's fine. But that's not all the time. So let's jump into the next one. Finally, Jizu, the other Switch emulator. And this one should be the best one, at least when it comes to performance. So right click on the game, properties. I'm using the skip intro so I don't see this a million times. For some reason, anything above update 1.0.1 .1 crashes the game for me. So I don't know what's going on there. Probably something on my end. So 1.01 .01 is fine. It doesn't have native FSR. The update adds FSR, basically, and allows you to toggle FXAA, so no huge problems. Frame rate to 60, just to see how, how fast we can push it. System, we keep it like this, on handheld. Then CPU on auto, everything like this. You can go lower resolution if necessary. Maybe use this one, but let's start with 720p. Uh, anti aliasing you can use FXAA or SMAA, which is good to have. And advanced graphics, I enabled this. Some people on the internet were saying to use this stuff. I'm not sure, but I got good results. And what else am I missing? Uh, well, and here the window adapting filter, you can use FSR and control the sharpness. I'll keep it at 1%. It's a little bit too aggressive in this game. And yeah. Maybe use FXAA if you want to. Yeah, that's probably what I'm doing. But it's completely optional. So press OK, double click on the game, and let's get into it. Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 1 on Yuzu. As you can see, I'm using Vulcan. This is normal, put it on high. I'm not 100% sure on what it does, but there we go. Here, game scope, game scope. Game scope appears to be accurate. We got the frame rate right over my hand here. And well, we got handheld mode, docked mode, which is a higher resolution. You can toggle between the upscalers. We're using FSR with the native resolution plus FXAA. It looks a little bit over sharpened, I would say. So yeah, we're in docked mode. And uh, maybe I'll keep it on handheld because I want to do more demanding stuff as well. Personally, I would avoid the 60 FPS patch. I think like this it should be okay but still not perfect it seems to be compiling shaders yeah it says there building shaders by the way you can also play this without the text on the screen this is just for testing purposes but as you can see in the city we're more consistently into the 30s i'll stay on handheld mode to keep the gpu load lower I'm not even sure if this is unlocked. Yes, it is. The frame rate is unlocked. But we're hitting 60s, 30s. Of course, as nothing is happening, like in the previous emulator, you get higher frame rates. But I'll just lock it to 30 personally, using the disabling the patch. So launch it without the 60 FPS patch. Play on the handheld mode, FSR plus FXAA, looks great. And I think I should show it to you handheld now. I mean, it runs fantastically well. Now we're playing in handheld, using the Switch's handheld resolution. You can also go docked if you select at the bottom left corner, which means a higher resolution, but probably a lower frame rate. Again, I would just avoid the 60 FPS patch, play it at 30. Gonna gonna return to Jake. But so far, even in the small town at the beginning, it's been fine. I gotta go to Blackwater. That's when I dropped frames when I was playing on PlayStation 3. But it's nice to be able to play Red Dead 1 on the Steam Deck. So they helped us with the Switch port. <laughs> But I think a good stress test for this would be playing Undead Nightmare. Has more enemies on screen and all that. But as you can see, it's working just fine. 
So let's swap into Undead Nightmare. I think this is clear enough. Welcome to Undead Nightmare. This is, well, an expansion they released way after the game came out. I remember they s sold it standalone on PlayStation 3 and the 360. There's a lot of hours of gameplay on this, but why am I doing this? Well, I'm not advanced enough in the story of the original in the emulator. So I couldn't show you one of the towns, one of the biggest ones, Blackwater. And on the zombie mode, there's more people on screen, at least attacking you, which is good because I can show you something more demanding. Here it comes. This is the demanding part I was talking about. And we can see if we can maintain 30s. But again, in this case, I would use the 30 FPS gap that comes with the game itself. Because as you can see in some parts, it drops into the 30s like this. Because this is a big city. But again, it's completely playable as long as you keep it at default. The default 30 FPS, handheld mode. This instead of normal, put it on high. And keep going. And the game looks great. Looks basically like Red Dead Redemption. Ha! <laughs> Funny, huh? But yeah, this is the demanding section. The city. Let's keep ahead into a part with more zombies on screen. Okay, here it starts. Burn, burn the remaining coffins. As you can see, even the torch casts shadows sometimes, which is interesting. Let's burn all of them. So more zombies show up. But as you can see, the frame rate doesn't care. Just run around. Yeah, I remember in this part my PlayStation 3 was screaming at 20 FPS. I cannot believe we can emulate this so well, actually. It's kind of surprising. Hopefully soon we get a PC version, an official one. And the Steam Deck will be able to play at 60, no doubt. But as you can see, even with the fire, the zombies, plus the biggest city in the game, kinda, one of the biggest cities, in the background and grass and fire, we're still okay. But again, just don't use the 60 FPS patch. It was just for experimental purposes over here. Doinks. Okay, we get this last one. one. Sec. And you can also do full screen. You don't need to have those bar, those white bars. Okay, there it dropped into the upper 20s actually. It started raining. I wonder what happened there. How is he still alive? I shot him in the head a couple times. Yeah, here it drops frames like crazy. I think it was the rain. Last uh, fire. Man, my aim is non-existence with this frame type. <laughs> okay, we got him. Cleared. I cleansed it. Yeah, the, the, the rain is killing it, actually. Interesting. So, well, guys, conclusion time. This is awesome. Just play it on Yuzu. You need to get, well, everything needed to get the emulator going. But the game works well. There's some issues when it rains heavily. But otherwise, the story mode has, the story mode has been fine. Even this level that has 
more geometry and transparencies and grass has been pretty good. Some minor drops below 30 as you could see there. That, but 99% of the time it was solid. There's now more enemies on screen because we're defending this town. But again, of course, PS3 360 emulation out of the question. Too much for the Steam Deck. So we gotta use the Switch version in handheld mode resolution, as you can see there. On the Yuzu emulator on Rai Unix, I couldn't get consistent 30s. So make sure to just don't download the 60 FPS patch. The game will be hard locked to 30 by default. And that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did checking out if Red Dead 1 is playable on Steam Deck. It is. Hopefully soon we get a Steam version. Still not perfect, of course. Here we're seeing even bigger drops. But again, most of the time it was okay. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching and... One more tweak before I go that I forgot to mention. If you go to the configuration. Okay. In general, graphics. Instead of 1020, 720 and 1080, select 0 0.75. That should fix those drops in sections like I showed you right now. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.